to another vlogmas episode and today is christmas eve now i'm not really doing anything special for christmas eve um we don't normally anyway as a family um we all just kind of do our own thing it's like a normal day to us um today i'm wearing um beautiful green sweatshirt uh green was my grandma's favorite color and then i have her quote on here um, I don't know if you can see that. We all live long and die oblong, and then her initials here. Um, that was her favourite saying, um, and of course, in her favourite colour. Um, this year is a real tough one. First year without her, um, really, really difficult. Uh, obviously, we're not really doing Christmas this year. I already told you guys that. Um, but I thought I'd show you today what I'm doing. Um, yeah. I'm just having a nice, easy, chill one again to myself. Um, I feel you will have seen yesterday's video when it goes live today, when I'm filming this. Does that make sense? Um, you will have seen yesterday I had um, a bit of trouble with burnout, autistic burnout. Um, and I was on the edge yesterday after having spent hours under my weighted blanket, just in the choir to myself. Um, I feel a lot better. I think it's because I'm such a given person and I do everything for everyone else and I always say yes to everything. I hardly ever say no. Um, and so because I've not had that time to like stim, to regulate, all that sort of stuff, it just caught up with me. And all of a sudden I just couldn't do stuff. Like I always lose the ability to do things like m tasks that I would normally do for perfectly well one day the next i just can't do and that's when i know hang on a minute something's not right um so that's when i know i need to stop but today i feel loads better so i'm gonna do a few bits today in preparation for tomorrow i am excited about tomorrow is anyone else excited about santa coming i'm not even kidding even though i'm like you know in my late 20s i still love the magic of christmas it's it's weird um but i love it um, I told you guys before in another vlog that I use um, PEX um, for my routine, uh, especially around Christmas time. So I have these boards, my Christmas Eve routine, my Christmas Day routine and my Boxing Day routine. Um, and then I'm going to put these up, stick these up. And I have the little PEX things here, um, the symbols, and there's a lot in here to choose from. Um, and I'm just going to put those on the relevant boards and stick those up um, because... I find this time of year um, really difficult without routine of work, where my work routine is absolutely solid and I don't have a solid routine when I'm not at work. Um, and that's really, really stressful. So these um, are really helpful, especially because, as you can see, it's like very visual, like visiting family, friends, um, car, very visual. And when you stick them on there, you can see exactly what's going to happen, what's coming next. Um, it's just a great visual I, and I really, really love these. They really help. Talking of pecs, I really need to catch up on decorating my tree um, because we should only have one number left on here. So um, what number are we up to on here? 17? 17. Uh, 18. 19. 20. Where's 20? 21. Love this one, it's like a little polar bear. 22 is a snowman. Uh, 23 is a crown. 24, Rudolph. And then there's one last one for tomorrow. 25 is Santa. How exciting! My Christmas countdown. How good does the tree look now? Awesome. My grandma absolutely loved to jigsaw. So I thought what better way um, to spend my day on Christmas Eve than to do a festive jigsaw. This jigsaw um, actually came from her house. Um, so I took this jigsaw when we were clearing out her house. Um, I don't even know who got it or where it came from, if she did it. Um, I, I would assume she did because she loved birds and especially the robin like she always used to look out for the birds the robin she used to like you know feed them like every day and every day she'd go and stand at the window and say 
oh there's no birds about um yeah but because it's only 500 pieces and i'm not sure how long it's going to take me after this one i'm going to try this one this is a mindfulness one one piece at a time and i bought this one myself because i love puzzles anyway but particularly 500 pieces because i don't always like to get out this massive like portable board all the time like i like to just get out the really small ones and just put it on the bed and get it done sort of thing um but how beautiful does this one look look at the colors i do feel like though that it might be really really difficult because all the same sort of color so this one might take me a few hours um but yeah so i've obviously done something wrong here because this bit just I actually have no idea where it goes. Um, it's really hard though. Oh, I actually don't think that bit goes there either. Um, this is a really hard puzzle um, because all of the outside, apart from the holly bits, all of the outside is literally low. It's just all the same colour. Um, so yeah, that was difficult. So now I'm just picking out all the colourful bits. So like the robin um, and a little bit of blue sky. And then I'm hoping that doing some of the inside will sort of fix the outside. That's my plan. Because I realised after how fitting it is to be doing a robin at this time of year as well. Um, the robin is kind of like a symbol of your lost loved ones and stuff. So when you see them out and about, um, they say that it's your, your loved one coming to you and, and, and sending you a message. So I think it's actually lovely that um, I got this one from my grandma's house and uh, I decided to come and do it today um, for the festive period. So it turns out that this jigsaw is a lot harder than I actually anticipated. And um, this has taken me a lot longer than I thought it would. I thought I'd be finished this in no time because it's 500 pieces and moved on to the next one. However, I think because it's actually starting to um do my head in a little bit i think i'm going to put it away um and either do some more in a little while or um try and do more tomorrow and over the next couple of days of christmas um yeah at least i've got some of the robin done though i thought that was really cute but all the colors are so difficult just look at all the colours. I thought all these, the ready bits and the blue bits, would be really easy, but it turns out it's really, really not. So I didn't finish the jigsaw. Um, it's still in my jigsaw board to do some more of in the next few days. Um, but I have started reading this, the Tom Fletcher, the new uh, the Christmas Saurus, uh, and the Naughty List. Um, and that's actually really got me excited for tomorrow um, and obviously Santa's on his way, boys and girls because this is Christmas Eve as I'm filming this um, so another story I thought I'd share is The Night Before Christmas um, and it's a classic story and we always used to have this read to us as children, didn't we? Yeah. Um, and this was kind of yeah it, it just brings back nostalgia so when i saw this a couple of years ago i bought it um and yeah i just thought we'd show you this and um i'm gonna read now because this is what we do <laughs> this is our tradition i'd say a new tradition but it's like an old tradition but reborn is that the way to Redone, say it? yeah yeah so it's the night before christmas So do I. <laughs> it was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St Nicholas soon would be there. Christmas Eve we're wishing you a very Merry Christmas and I hope you come back tomorrow um, to see what we've been up to on our Christmas day as I will actually be vlogging uh, another episode of Vlogmas. <laughs>